Hello, my name is Jennifer Sullivan, and my claim is that the lack of proper geography education in the United States is a great disservice to the public. The first time I really realized there was a problem was an actual personal experience that happened in my environmental science class that I took in high school. We were doing a um, we were doing a part on economics and population, including the population growth in several countries. And we had a test later on. One test asked about which um, country had the highest or fastest growing population growth. And instead of putting the countries listed just by name, he actually had used a map, blank, and labeled it A, B, C, one being India, China, Mexico, and I think Germany. The answer was India, but later on when he went over it, he was very confused asking, you know, why did some people pick Mexico? It was not even talked about. And they said, well, you know, you kind of did a trick question. You didn't label the map. We don't know where India is. I do know it is India. And so he sort of was, you know, upset about this and ended up giving us a kind of impromptu quiz on populations. But it did really make you think, you know, when you're talking about especially populations, we're talking about India, but a lot of people don't actually have a idea of it in reality. It's just a like abstract concept. They can't actually place it in like this world. So the second thing I would like to say is the statistics that back in what is it, recent times when Puerto Rico was hit by Hurricane Maria, yeah Maria, um, the morning consult poll found that only 54% 50, of the 2020 adults surveyed in the poll realized that Puerto Rico, people born in Puerto Rico are United States citizens. They did not realize that Puerto Rico is part of the Commonwealth or even is like related. So, and of those um, adults, the 18 to 29 range, only 27% of people in that range knew while 65 and plus had a bit high, a lot higher of 64%. And this is sort of startling because it really would change the way they would think about the issue. They might think, oh, this is just a foreign event that happened somewhere unrelated to me, when it is actually an event that is domestic and the United States, you know, had obviously responsibility to address. Um, Lastly, I want to talk about sort of what, what is maybe some of the reasons causing these issues. And one of them is that in the school system, geography, while um, classic geography mostly, is not really being valued. Um, even though geography over the years has kind of moved beyond just places on a map um, to also things like technology for GPS and GIS, it's place in the school system has kind of been pushed to the sides, where it's normally lumped together with the social sciences all together and history. And so in the United States, only 17, um, only 17 states require geography as a subject in middle school. And for those who require it in high school, only 10 states, according to a um, a survey, or not survey, a report done by the Government Accountability Office. And I'll use a quote or an example of the Director of Education for the GAO, Government Accountability Office, where she described how one state official talked about how over that, in their state, they had eliminated the geography um, curriculum from their schools for over a decade and it was only recently, this was around 2017 when the article was published, it was only recently added back in due to concerns of people, you know, wondering are we getting properly educated? But of course by then, damage has already been dealt, that is 
over a decade of people going through a system. So I think kind of some of these are just kind of the tip of an issue, but they do show that a lack of importance is clearly being placed on something that is needed to be able to participate and understand world and also at home issues. It's, it is a disservice to people that they can't really understand the world they live in at all. That's not my